most great stories start with a feeling of joy and happiness. However, this is not such a story. It pretty much started like this only 15 years ago. Sam wasn't a very social person, but he invited the others happiness and told himself if he worked hard he could obtain all the happiness he ever wanted. So he started to work and study very hard. Test number 102, I have now added the isoamyl acetate to the dehydrogen monoxide and will now add this compound to the solution. The compound has been formed and has the anticipated color. The toxin has the expected structure and will be tested on the leukemia patient shortly. Thank you for coming today. As you all know, you are taking part in an experimental trial. I will now inject you with what we think is the cure for your leukemia. Hello, this is Lucas speaking. Hello, it's Sam. I'd like you to come to my lab today. Uh, now? Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm kind of busy. It's about our research. Oof, our results haven't changed for five years. Would you really mind if I came two hours later? Alright, but as long as you come to, to the lab today. So, what did you want to show me? Take a look at this. Oh, what is it? It's a toxin infused with genetic coding. It can cure leukemia. I made it work the other day. Amazing! Explain to me how it works. Well, the toxin we used is harmless. Once it fused with DNA, it targets all cells with the same DNA. However, we decided to take it a little further and infuse it with a leukemia sample. Great! I'm going to media of our great discovery. What's wrong, kid? Well, we were doing sand castles today in class, and the best looking one would win a prize. And I matched up with a guy called Butch, and he told me to, to make the wall of the castle while he would be doing the castle itself. And uh, I finished earlier, and I went to help him to finish the castle. 
we have the we have the best castle ever in the class. But Butch said, claimed that he did it all by himself. So he took all the prize for himself. And what did the teacher say? Well, I had no proof, so she didn't do anything at all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian McLean. Breaking news! A group of scientists finally discovered the cure for cancer. Lucas Lundberry and Christopher Reese were able to isolate a revolutionary toxin treatment that can kill cancer cells. The discovery was made at the Zola Medical Research Lab on the 28th of November 2011. For further explanation, we're joining Alex Wallander live from the Zola Research Lab who will be interviewing Lucas Dunberry. Hi Alex! Hi Steve, I am now with Mr. Dunberry. Tell me Mr. Dunberry, how does it feel to be part of such a great discovery? Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, Christopher and I have been working so hard to finally isolate this toxin. We've, we're so happy we finally uh, came up with a solution to cancer. Uh, you know, my mom uh, died of breast cancer when I was 15. And that day, uh, I swore to myself that uh, I would find a solution to cancer, to eradicate this terrible plague. How do you plan to make this new treatment available for everybody? What are your next plans? Well, actually, uh, we plan to do this. This can't be. I have to go tell them the truth. I have to go talk to the media. Good morning, Christopher. Thank you for seeing me, Mr. Johnson. Well, you said you had urgent news. Indeed, it was I that discovered the cure, not Christopher or Lucas. We must correct today's headline with tomorrow's headline. Those are grand accusations. Don't you have any proof? Yes, well, I logged hours in a logbook. You know as well as me that that doesn't prove anything. But it's the truth. I had the trials done three days ago. It was a complete success. I still can't change anything based on what you said. Lucas took the formula from me. I'm sure you would recognize my signature. You've seen it so many times. They sent it in my email. Unless you find the original paper, there's absolutely nothing I can do. I'm sorry. But this research is my life. There must be something you can do. Sadly, justice can't prevail in this case. There's simply not enough proof. Please believe me. No, I'm sorry. I'll ask you to leave, I have work to do. Alright, uh, I'll get going. Can anybody hear me? Or am I talking to myself? My mind is running empty In this search for someone else Who doesn't look right through me It's all just static in my head Can anybody tell me why? I'm lonely like a saddle light Cause tonight I'm free. 